go to our number theory topic, example eight. Check out example seven if you haven't already done so. We're going to write 202 to the base 10 and convert it to base five using the Euclidean algorithm. So all we're going to do is write down 210. We're going to divide it by five and work out the quotient and remainder. In this case, five divides into 21240 times that's 200. In fact, it doesn't divides 42 times. Uh, that gives us a remainder of two. Um, what we then do, we're not using the normal uh, G, uh, GCD stuff. We're moving 42 over, but we're still dividing by five because it's base five. Uh, five divides into 42 eight times. Again, remainder two. Move the eight over, divide that by five. And we've got one. Uh, five divides into eight, one time remainder three. Remember, we only stop when the quotient is zero. Move the one over. We're dividing by 5, and 5 divides into 1, 0 times remainder 1, and we stop there because of the 0. So we can say here that 212 to the base 10 is equal to 1, 3, 2, 2, from the bottom up, 1, 3, 2, 2 to the base 5. It's as simple as that. I like it. So there are a couple of other uh, examples, uh, or another couple of practice ones, okay? So um, here's five questions. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it, uh, and you can have, have a go at these. I'll put the answers up. Uh, I'll put maybe the worked examples for a couple of them up, and then I'll put just the other ones uh, as the final answer, and hopefully uh, that, in fact, we'll have a, yeah, yeah. E is interesting because uh, you may or may not. Well, in fact, I'll, uh, right, let's do E. Uh, I quite like E because it's base 16. Uh, when we, we're doing bases bigger than uh, base 10, we kind of run out of characters. So we use capital letters. Uh, after, when we use 9, you've got 1 to 9. And instead of 10 being 1, 0, if you get a base 12 or base 16, uh, we use A to effectively represent the value, the 10 to symbol. B is the 11 symbol, C is the 12 symbol, and so on. Okay, so in this case here in base 16, let's just do that one, and then I'll we'll put the answers to the other one up. Okay, so you get 713 in base 16, uh, 713 divides into 16, or 16 divides into 713, 44 times with a remainder of 9. Okay, and then we move the 44 over and we divide by 60 and we end up with 2. Uh, 2 divides in, because uh, 2 sixteens are 32 plus 12. Uh, we move the 2 over to the other side and we're still dividing by 16 and we get 0 times, of course, 16 divides into 2, no times, remainder 2. We stop there. Now this is where the interesting thing happens. 713 to the base 10 is equal to, it should be 2, 12, 9, except that we can't put 12 as a single digit. So we've got to remember that uh, when we get to 9, 10 is A, 11 is B, 12 is C. So we actually use the symbol C, capital C, to represent a remainder of 12. So the answer is 2, C, 9, to the base 16. Okay, so it's an interesting idea the fact that we kind of run out of, of our symbols because our uh, Arabic numerals only go up to nine and we then start into uh, using place values. So uh, other uh, number bases bigger than, than 10 require extra symbols. Okay, I'll, put, I'll pause it and I'll just put the answers up to A to D in case you want to have a practice at these, okay? Okay, there's the answers to A to D as well. Hopefully you can, that makes sense and you can go in and practice some other uh, number-based problems. Okay.